In today's show, we have information on Miss Murphy leaving. And how the seniors will check out for the year. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. I'm Jordan. And I'm Cameron. You're watching SVTV. You may have heard about Miss Murphy leaving. Let's check it out. One of SHS's English teachers, Miss Murphy, will be leaving next year. SVTV caught up with her to get more information. I was offered a job at Topeka West in their theater department, and um, that's where I'm going. It was not an easy decision, and um, I am going to miss a lot of things about this place, so um, I'm kind of sad to go, but it was the right decision. Um, I, you know, I learned a lot in my six years here at Seaman. I uh, got my start teaching theater here. I got to direct my first musical here. Um, I got to work with a lot of really good kids, and I think I just grew as a person and as an educator. We asked a few students about what their thoughts were on Miss Murphy. Um, Miss Murphy really inspired me um, uh, to pursue a, a career in theater and um, inspired me uh, with her passion and drive for uh, theater arts and things like that. Um, I'm very sad. Um, everyone's going to miss her, especially in the theater department, and that she's not going to be my teacher next year. Um, well, from just being in her class, uh, she has made me want to join theater and do players, and she was honestly my favorite teacher. Good luck next year, Miss Murphy. We'll all miss you. Make sure you wish her good luck in her new position. Now on to your announcements. The Alumni Association is planning on to sell t-shirts to raise money for scholarships and want to use the creativity for the 100th graduating class. Create a design for the t-shirts and attendees at the annual banquet will vote for the winner. Deadline submission is May 23rd, 2019. Check Schoology for more information. If you would like to join the Writing Center staff next year, the application deadline has been extended to May 15th at the end of the day. The application forms and information are on our website. Questions and application materials can be directed to Ms. Sands. Seniors, a couple of new scholarship opportunities have been added to the Class of 2019 Schoology page. Check them out. Laptop check-ins have been posted on Schoology. Make sure you check and follow the instructions to properly turn in your laptop. Speaking of check-ins, let's go to Allie for more information on senior checkouts. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mr. Monahan to talk about senior sign-out. So what needs to be done? Well, Wednesday, please join us uh, for rehearsal, which is during seminar on Wednesday. Then for checkout, they need to have their laptop turned in, take care of any financial obligations that they may have here in the office, take care of their balance that they owe the cafeteria, and then after that, they get their cap and gown, um, and then they will also uh, be available for cookout afterwards. Okay. And if seniors weren't here, where can they get these forms? So the forms are with teachers uh, in their government classes, but they're also on Schoology. Awesome. Make sure and fill those forms out. Now back to your anchors. Make sure you follow the directions. Eight FCCLA members have qualified for nationals in Anaheim, California, and are holding multiple fundraisers. They will be selling burritos, one for $2 or a dozen for 20 Email Ms. Jones in order to order. Also join them May 31st at IHOP North from 1 to 8 p.m. 20% of the proceeds go to FCCLA. The SHS parking permit purchase process will be moved to an online format. Beginning on July 5th, SHS drivers can visit the web store, which will allow them to choose and pay for permits. For more information, check Schoology. Tonight is the last life drawing night of the semester in room 901 from 6 to 7.30. Make sure to check it out. Tomorrow will be the last day for senior thank yous. Make sure to stop by the studio if you need one. Now let's go check out the sports with Cameron. <laughs> Yo, dude, man, you need to clean out your locker. 
Yeah, man, no, no kidding. <laughs> Thanks for getting me out. No problem. While you guys are out playing sports, I'm in here stealing all your stuff. If your locker isn't locked, I will find it. I will steal your wallet, your possession, your livelihood. I am Locker Room Thief. If your locker isn't locked, I will find it. Sign up for Summer Swim with Coach Tuck and Coach Garmin. The workout sessions run from Monday to Thursday, 6.30 a.m. to 8 a.m. from June 3rd to July 18th. For more information, check the school website. Make sure to go support the track team at Humber tonight as they compete in league. Let's go see how much more rain is expected with Joshua, Rosaline, Joanne, Bertha, Duncan. Well, Cameron, we're not expecting any more measurable rainfall for today, but some sprinkles are possible. Overall, the past several days have been very wet. We didn't quite get an inch Sunday through Tuesday, but over an inch on Wednesday has pushed our total up near two and three quarters of an inch. So yeah, it's been wet on, on top of already saturated grounds that has caused some area rivers to flood. Now sprinkles again are possible for today, but we're not expecting really more than a trace. And then we get very cold for tomorrow morning. Lows down near 40 degrees. It's going to feel similar to this morning. Saturday is another iffy day, but we're, should be, we should be in pretty good shape by the time we hit the second half of the weekend. Our next main chance of rain holds off until Friday night. This is not a whole lot, but some scattered showers will be possible. And there is about a 10 to 20% chance of rain on Saturday. I'm keeping it dry right now. We'll have to update that for you tomorrow. Notice though, Monday through Wednesday of next week, highs jump all the way back into the 70s as sunshine returns. So get ready for some warmer weather on the way. Now, Cameron and Jordan, back to you. Thanks, Josh. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.